Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another build tutorial. Uh, the first one was very, very well received, so thank you very much for all the support on that. Um, so I'm, I'm doing more, and this is actually a requested video. Um, it's about roof designs. Now, with buildings, you can have the most beautiful building in the world, just like this one here, but if the roof is rubbish, it's going to let the entire build down. For me, a good roof is incredibly impressive. Um, now, I'm not going into very, very intricate detail on this tutorial. This is more um, to kind of give you some tips and pointers on how to improve basic roofs. Um, I'm going to be covering two styles, well, three styles, I suppose, um, of roof building techniques. And as I say, just little hints and tips to get you on your way to making your own wonderful roofs. Okay, um, so let's get right into it. Your best bet is to build your roof out of any of these materials. So we've got sandstone, cobble, brick, stone brick, nether brick, quartz, oak wood, or any of the other wood varieties, and purple. Now, the only reason I say this is because these have slabs and stairs involved. And if you look, we're using slabs and stairs quite a bit. Um, and obviously, they all have their own full block variant. So that is good for filling in bits like that, although you could still use slabs. Um, but yeah, that is the basic principle. These blocks will give you a lot of different definition, a lot of different height values, um, much better contouring ability with them as well, um, which is brilliant. Uh, so I'm going to grab these two out of here, um, and we're going to go over to our first roof. Now, I use this technique quite a lot. Um, it suits my build style, um, so I'm fairly used to it. This is, I suppose a lot of people would call it a steampunk style. You have a curved outer area on the roof going up to a nice point. Um, I love this design, absolutely love it. It's very, very simple. I'm not going to go through this block by block, but the basic principle is always start off with two stair blocks. One on the top layer of your actual wall. I'll be having that back, thank you. <laughs> um, yep, so one on the top layer of the wall, then one on top of that. Behind that, you're going to want to put an upside down stair. This is to give it a nice bit of definition, and then go up one block. Stair, stair, two blocks, stair, block. And that is it. That is it. That is the general principle. This can be continued like this. Um, over here, once again, we've gone for stair block on the outside on the top layer of our wall, followed by another stair block, upside down stair block, one block, two stairs, two blocks. Now, because this is quite a tall roof, it's a wider building, uh, what I have done is rather than going to three blocks like I have done there, I've gone for another two block. Um, I would say that the most you want to do of this is two, and the most you want to do of this is two. Any more than four blocks, you're looking at reaching a hell of a height on this. So if that happens, what I would recommend is adding in more of the single blocks. So another single block there, and then stair, stair, as opposed to the two. I hope that makes sense, um, but that is a way of balancing out the roof so that it doesn't get too high. Um, but you will eventually want these in. You will want the roof to go pointy. Uh, that is that. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do on this, I'm actually going to grab myself, there we are, some more of that. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cap your roof. Now, I always think that this is incredibly important. Once again, it adds an amazing level of depth to the build. It makes it look more realistic. As obviously the idea of roofs is that the rain falls off. And if you're out here outside your front door and you've just got sky above you, you're getting wet and that ain't no good. So if we put this overhang on, it looks a lot more realistic. And of course you don't get wet. Uh, when it comes to the top here with this part here, I put an upside down stair and that just gives a nice little bit of detail to the build. 
a little focal point for the eye, always very nice. Uh, so I'm going to finish this off and then I will... Then, <laughs> then I'll be right back with you. So there we go, that is the building capped off there. Obviously, if you can imagine this with a full roof on, that's going to look a lot better. Um, I generally use a different trim to my accent block on the wall um, because if you put too much of it in, it becomes less of an accent block and more of an eyesore. What I do is I use a different block and then what I can do is I can always detail at the bottom with cobble just to bring the build together. Stuff like that. Yeah, uh, so this is an odd shape, which is why we've got that single block in the middle. This can also be done with even blocks. And what I would generally tend to do um, is put two upside down stairs facing here. Uh, what you can also do if you want your roof a little bit more pointy, maybe a little bit more churchy, is just add another two stair blocks on the top like that. And that works as well. Uh, this one also has an extra uh, block coming off the side and this is in case you want a little bit more of an uh, overhang so I'm going to fill in this cap and I'll bring back bring you right back Okay, so that is that roof capped off. And as you can see, it provides more of a slope coming out like that. Um, what you might be able to do is add some slabs onto the side here if you really want it to roll out a bit more, but I would recommend not. <laughs> uh, right, with this kind of roof design, what you can also do is create this kind of shape here. Um, this is a very, very simple technique whereby you make one of the shapes on one side and then you follow it over onto the other one. Now what I have done here is I've actually mixed an odd number with an even number just to show that that still works. Um, on the top here I've added in these stair blocks just to add to the detail at the top there. This also provides um, a space for maybe some hidden lighting up here, a couple of torches just to provide a nice glow or you could do something like this just to make the top a little bit more pointy as everybody loves pointy. Uh, so those are some techniques there. Um, I will be going into uh, onto the late log I server later um, in the video just to show you what you can do with these with this kind of roof design here and the way you add these shapes into every part of the roof and make it like a multi-layer roof. So we'll be doing that more towards the end of the video. Uh, right, on to kind of desert buildings, hot styled um, buildings, like uh, yeah, desert, mesa, that kind of thing. Um, these roofs are all designed to shoot off the rain, which is why they look fairly realistic for Minecraft. Um, in the desert, there is less rain. <laughs> so pretty much every single roof you see is flat. Um, so that is absolutely fine. There's no reason not to. I always put like a little lip or something on the top here because if you look at pictures, that is what it's like. Um, but there's absolutely no reason why you can't add in a little bit more detail like this. Um, I would say as long as it is flat. I find that spruce goes really, really well against sandstone. So I've used spruce um, fence posts here. But yeah, from that to that, it's an improvement, definitely. Right, on to kind of dome, dome-shaped-ish, half-circular roofs. Uh, this is an even build again, so that works with this. And what we're going to need for this is some of this. So what I do is if I want an arched roof like I do here, um, I go onto a website called Donut Studios, which I'm just going to put up on the screen here. Okay, so here we are at donutstudios.com. Uh, this is a circle generator. It's absolutely brilliant, incredibly easy to use. Uh, let's say you wanted a circle with a width of 30 
ta-da, um, it automatically does the height and the block count and everything like that. So it gives you a really nice um, idea of what you're going to need for any circle in Minecraft. Uh, but let's go with a 12, which is what I'm about to show you now. Um, when I do things like this, what I usually do is I take this row here as the top of my wall. Okay, so these blocks here are the walls. That is the top of the wall here. Um, so all you're going to want to do is follow these patterns. So you're always probably going to come in one, maybe two sometimes, uh, depending. Um, that's just what I do. As I say, play around with this. Um, what I say might not be the best thing in the world, but it works for me and that's all I can give you. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's pop back into the test world and I will catch up with you guys there. Okay, so we are back in the test world and what I want to do here is just come in and just follow this up with some planks, just like that. And that's going to give us a nice little arch shape here. So let's knock those out. So the reason I did 12 was because this is 12 across. Now what you can do is you can come in with your slabs and stairs. So that is why I was using, that's why I suggested those in the beginning. And what you want to do is you just want to start adding in little bits like this, maybe on the outside as well. Probably go one in there and one in there, like so. Uh, and this is going to start to arch it over, give it a bit more definition. What happens if you come down one here and here? Not much. <laughs> Not much at all. So let's add those back in. Maybe go one there instead. See what that does. Nope, don't like that either. As I say, this is playing around. You can also use stairs for this if you want it um, a little bit... I wouldn't say pointier, but... <laughs> You know, it, this can make it a lot more rounded even. Um, yeah, so that is that done. Uh, what I've done here is I've just left the scaffold in here. This is an odd build as well. So as you can see, it works with that. Um, I actually prefer the odd builds on this. I feel like you can get a better shape to them. Don't know why, just do. And after that odd cut, <laughs> uh, we are now onto this roof design here. Um, this is exactly the same principle as over there. Um, it's adding in another plane to your roof. Um, so as we've done over there, I've copied the shape from one side onto the other and then just linked the two up and that creates this roof pattern here. Very nice, very nice. Um, that can be done multitudes of times. So if you want to extend this building this way or even this way, you can add many of these archways going down and it will all crisscross and interweave and everything will look lovely, I promise. <laughs> right, that is going to be it for the test world. I'm going to take you onto the Late Lao Guys server to show you more of these roofs and what can be done by manipulating the planes, adding more in and everything like that. So I'll catch you guys over there. Okay, everybody, so here we are on the Late Lao Guy server um, with some examples of these roofs. So here we go. That's pretty much exactly the same kind of shape as I was showing before. Um, we've got a one, one, then a two here, and round here, two ones. And they just link together really nicely like that. It gives the building a little bit of something extra, I feel. Anyway, over here is the main part of my base. Um, some of these do have fire damage on them. Uh, <laughs> this is obviously a vanilla survival world. Usually I'm using my cam account for this, um, but fire tick is on and therefore things get struck by lightning and bad things happen to wood. Um, but yeah, this is, if you look at it from the side here, this is exactly the same kind of principle. It's just done on a diagonal, um, which gives it an almost rounded kind of shape, which I really, really like. Um, so that's another thing you can do with them. Over here, oh, this is actually quite a good example of one of the 
techniques that I showed off earlier of making like a little tower cap for it. Um, so that's how that can come together, which I think looks really nice. Uh, another one, the same here and here. Um, over here is slightly more complicated. We've got one, two, three, four of the same kind of roof in a line. Um, but all on slightly different planes and it all comes together. You've also got an extra one out at the side here, which um, once again, it just adds another plane, another bit of definition, another bit of detail. And yeah, just makes makes the roof a little bit more interesting, I feel. Um, over here, we've got exactly the same kind of thing, just done on a much larger scale, much larger. This is a big building, um, it's actually my storage room. Some of these buildings aren't finished, so please ignore that. Um, but yeah, once again, it's, it's big planes, um, all done at separate heights and things like that. They all intermingle and all cross over. They come over around the side here as well. Uh, there might be a frame drop at the moment because that is one hell of a lag machine in there. <laughs> Let's get away from that. Um, but yeah, these are, as I say, just examples of how these kind of roof designs can come together and give your builds a little bit of something different. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's going to be the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it or found it useful, then please feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button. Comments down below. Tell me what you want to see next. If there's anything in particular, anything you want me to go into more detail on or anything, literally anything, then comment below. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.